Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. While touchscreens were first developed around 1967 for airport traffic control, the first smartphone which used this technology was set into motion in 1992 by IBM and was named the IBM Simon. This generation of new phones that enabled touchscreen was made possible by capacitance sensors. Capacitance sensors were discovered long back in 1967 by E. A. Johnson. A capacitance sensor is a device that can detect the presence or absence of any object that is conductive or has a dielectric constant different from air by detecting the change of charges around the capacitance sensor. The capacitance sensor consists of a metal plate which is termed as the sensing surface. This sensing surface is internally connected to an oscillator. An oscillator is a circuit that gives a continuous repeated alternating waveform. The capacitance sensor gives an electrostatic field. As we bring a target plate close to the sensing plate, the oscillator shows a change in its waveform. As the electrostatic field changes, it varies the output state of the sensor until it reaches a definite threshold. When the target plate is removed, the oscillator regains back its original waveform. The sensitivity level of the capacitance sensors can be adjusted. But if the sensitivity is increased too much, it will lead the sensor to be influenced by humidity, temperature and dust. When a voltage is applied across a capacitance sensor, charges get stored. Capacitance is the ability of the capacitor to store electric charges. The formula for capacitance is given by C equals epsilon multiplied by epsilon R multiplied by A whole divided by D. Here epsilon is the permittivity in free space. It represents the ability of the vacuum to permit electric fields. Epsilon R is the dielectric constant of the material between the plates. D is the distance between the two plates and A is the area of the plate. The permittivity of free space is actually a constant whose value is approximately equal to 8.85 into 10 raised to negative 12 farad per meter. As we can see from the formula, capacitance is directly proportional to the dielectric constant and the area of the plate and it's inversely proportional to the distance between the two plates. That is, as the distance between the two plates decreases, the capacitance increases. Capacitance sensors can detect the presence of both conductive and non-conductive targets. Conductive targets include metal, water, blood, and salts. Non-conductive targets are mostly insulating material like wood, plastic, paper, etc. The capacitance sensor in our phone consists of a glass cover below which horizontal and vertical sensing lines are present that is charged by our phone battery. When we bring our finger close to the phone screen, the electrostatic field around the grid changes. The sensor detects this change and a corresponding output is produced. Capacitance sensors find their applications in detecting changes in position or determining the changes in fluid level. They have the following advantages. They are highly sensitive and operate with a minimum amount of force. They are simple in construction and requires minimum power to operate. Even after being so efficient, capacitance sensors have some disadvantages as well. Because of high sensitivity, they react to temperature and pressure from the environment and thus affects the performance. Capacitance sensors are slightly less accurate than the other types of sensors available. Well, that's about it for this video guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.